Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. How do you feel being the very first guest on Now That's Something Good? I'm trying not to think about that part of it. You know, slightly terrified. Yes. You're sitting, you're the first one in our brand new podcast studio that we have. Yep. You're trying it out. Your first one sitting in the chair. Like, this is going to be good. It's beautiful. Well, I'm thanks. I'm super excited for you. I don't say that to make you nervous. I say it because this is going to be a lot of fun. So let's jump in here, Megan. So tell me, tell everybody listening, how, how do we know each other? So yeah, we actually met through Fearless. We did. And so, um, honestly, I couldn't tell you what event that we met, but we just yeah. kind of started talking and then we found that we had a lot in common. Yes. And so it kind of led to the next and then we're like, hey, we need to have lunch someday. Let's yes. connect more than that. And so, you know, there's those people that come into your life that you just kind of connect with that you really can't explain yep and so I really feel that with you and so it's been really a cool ride it's been really neat I do remember the fearless night because so as you're going to hear just a minute Megan is an artist um and is super creative and so for fearless women we'll come back and talk about this some more but you draw um or design what would be the right word what's the word I want to create I would call it live sketching live sketching during um these events so when somebody's speaking or sharing you'll live sketch and that's how we met and I remember when I saw you, I had the chance to speak in November and I saw you there. And I think that was partly Maybe really where that was connection. the catalyst because yeah. I know I'd seen you. But then at that event, I remember coming up to you and being like, I am so glad you're going to do this because I just so appreciate yeah. what you get, what you do. But we're going to come back to that. So hang tight, everybody. We'll come around. <laughs> so tell us though, Megan, tell us about like your family. Just give us a little bit. Who Who is Megan? Yeah. So I... Um, I'm a mama Okay. Of four. I've got four kiddos. Okay. My oldest is in seventh grade. Okay. My uh, He's my son, Caden, and then Skylar will be in fifth grade. Okay. Um, my daughter, and then my next daughter, Libby Grace, she's going to be in fourth grade this year, and then my youngest, Cooper, will be in first grade. Okay. So um, that is kind of my primary responsibilities as yeah. far as hanging out with them and um, managing the house, and yeah. my husband, big Brad, job. is... Um, a contractor and uh, doing some amazing things with growing a business and um, kind of uh, just leaning into that gift set. And so, yeah. And then in the midst of that, I'm trying to just kind of lean into the nudge of where to create with art. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's just talk about this art thing because I kind of already set this up. So let's go there. Yeah. So tell tell everyone, what do you, what's kind of your art medium or what does that look like for you? Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I can't remember a time where I haven't created. Okay. That has always been kind of my outlet and something that has given me life. And so, honestly, like, I never thought that it could be more than just that. Yeah. But really, in the past couple of years, um, the Lord has really kind of challenged me with doing a little bit more with that. So, um, I actually have a degree in art education, but the Lord has not put me in a full-time classroom setting. Okay. It's been kind of pockets, and it's been used in various unique ways. Yeah. Which, Kind of, kind of explains me because I don't really fit in a box. So you know, <laughs> hey, it works. It works. We get that. But, um, but yeah, so I've really leaned into watercolor. I love watercolor. Okay. That's one of my favorite mediums. Yep. Okay. Um, and then I've also dabbled into the live sketching and um, have done some stuff with my iPad and the Apple Pencil in order to draw, still hand draw, but have it digital. That's so. amazing. And where does the life sketching, like, where did you, when was your first time doing that? Or how did you figure out, yeah. like, that was a thing? So, um, I actually have always doodled whenever I have listened to somebody speak. And that has been something that has really kept me focused. It has okay. like, brought different points to life. It has helped me to go back and reference it. And so I've really, last fall, I'm like, I can't be the only one that really could benefit from it. Yeah. So I'm like what if I try this? And so I actually approached Christy last fall. I'm like, hey, what do you think about this idea? And so she's like, sure, why not? Let's try it. And yeah. so, um, yeah, so it's really been kind of a cool thing just because there's been a lot of people that have said, you know, that it's just brought certain scriptures to life. And yes, just a great reminder of truth because 
being visual, our sight is just another sense that just brings things to life. Absolutely. And I loved it because, like I said, when I spoke, I was so excited to see you because of what you just said. Because I know there's so much just spoken word that we mm-hmm. talk, but when you can put a picture yeah. to that too, I feel like it just magnifies like the reach and the depth and just the takeaway. Really, like, and the remember, because now you've not only heard words, you're seeing a picture that reflects that. And it's incredible. So I loved like the pictures you made that went with that. I was like, this is the coolest thing oh, ever. Well, it's really kind of an adventure for me too, because I sit down and I really don't, I mean, I kind of yeah. get to see the notes a little bit before, Okay, but it's just, okay, Lord, what do you want to have of this night? Yeah. And so I kind of just long for the ride and, um, it just challenges me to have that finished product, whatever that might look like. Well, that's amazing to me. So Megan, I have literally zero artistic, like drawing ability. Like my kids would always come in and be like, Hey mom, draw an elephant. And I really can't do it. No mom, really draw an elephant. And I'm like, and I'll draw it. Finally I'd give in and they're like, that doesn't look like an elephant. I'm like, I tried to tell you, I cannot draw. So I'm always in awe of people that have this ability to create with their hands and like, take whatever they see in their mind and then put it to life. So yeah, I appreciate that. No, I really, cause I do, I do not have that skill set. but so tell me like, where do you like with the watercolors or whatever you're creating, where do you really get your inspiration? Like, how does that come to you? How does that work? Yeah. So I just think that there are so many different, um, different things that inspire me. And honestly, like my goal of what this is, is to kind of bring beauty to the everyday ordinary. Yeah. Because sometimes we can see things that we see on a regular basis and we can overlook. And so it's kind of the challenge almost to make somebody pause. Yeah. To be, okay, our mundane, monotonous, everyday chores can feel like it's never ending. Yes. You know? Yes. But if there are certain things that can make us pause to really lean in of like, okay, there's intention with this. Yeah. The perseverance matters. Yes. Um, and girl, I'm not always good with that. Like I can have bad attitude and be grumpy about that and be like, no, I don't want to do the chores around the yeah. house. But yeah. It's those simple reminders that can just bring us back to saying, okay, there's purpose in this. Absolutely. And it's the course of lots of things over time. You know, anything worth having isn't going to happen overnight. Right. Whether it's parenting, whether it's working on your marriage, whether it's building relationships or loving on your neighbors or whatever the case may be. It takes time. It takes effort. And And how are you in waiting? (laughs) Megan, how do you... (laughs) I mean, I feel like you're probably an expert because I know I am like an expert waiter. It is not a problem for me yeah. at all. I'm, of course, completely lying and being sarcastic. Yeah. I hate waiting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the patience thing is is always a challenge, you know. And when you pray for it, you have lots of opportunities yes. that come your way. So. Yes. Well, that, so tell me, I mean, you just said you have four kids. Where do you find time to create? Like, I feel like I'm like, I, if I get a quiet moment, it is amazing. So like, where are you finding time? How did, what does that look like? Like, it's tricky. It's yeah. tricky because that, that's where with this art, I want to be very, try to be very discerning as yeah. far as when to step out and when not. Yeah. Because, um, it's so easy to say Yes. But sometimes it's hard to say no. That is and true. There are so many options out there. There are so many opportunities. And when you seek something, you'll find it. Yeah. And so it's just trying to have that discernment because my husband is um, doing incredible work trying to build a business. And so That's that a requires huge... a lot of time. Yes. So, um, but I've found that when I do have the time to create, although it might be a little bit slower paced than what I anticipate. Right. It is something that gives me life and mm-hmm. it gives me more focus so that I can be better in the other areas. Yeah. And so that's I think good. that is such a wise thing to find for whoever in yeah. whatever field they might have a sweet spot in. Right. That you need that time so that you can be the best version of you. Yeah. Whether it's a pause, whether it's creating, whether yes. it's spending time alone or whatever the case yeah. may be. There's just too many things fighting for our attention right now that... That's very true. You just got to... Yeah. And isn't it hard because often, at least I find in my life, you you just said something really important that 
one, it's important. Almost the no's are as important as the yeses. But when it's something that's life giving, mm -hmm. it, it spreads out into everything else too. Like if you get those moments to create, I'm sure that it does change your perspective and your time. It's contagious. Because yes. it's it's not only that, but it's also giving an opportunity for my kids to see something other than just being yeah. a mom. Yeah. And and I'm not downplaying that at all. Right. Because a mom's role is important on Absolutely. so many different levels, and that's a whole nother conversation. Right. But <laughs> Um, as far as just finding something that God has created in you yes. to really dabble in, yeah, um, I think is important because you know God's created each of us uniquely yes. and differently, yes, and nobody can do what you can do. I love that. And so that's hard sometimes for me to embrace because I, I could be the first one to critique and to yes. you know go yeah. against and give you the excuses or. You know, there's yes. so many other amazing artists out there. What, who, you know, the, right. oh, the whole thing I offer. Yeah. There's so many exactly. podcasts, Megan. Why would I start a podcast? <laughs> no, it's good. So this is funny on those lines. Um, I feel like God kind of gave me this phrase and it's not, it's not a unique phrase. It's two words, do something. Mm -hmm. And so you were actually sharing with me the other day, just some of you use the word that sometimes maybe overthinking. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. It's like, Hey, I want to do this, but I don't know where to start. Or I know that God's given me this talent, but how do I use it? Or maybe they're not even sure. Like, Hey, I, I like to cook. Can God use that? Or I like to doodle. Like what could God do with that? Yeah. Um, that sometimes we're our own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just, Hey, we need to do something. So but Megan, what is that looking like right now? Can <laughs> you give some examples or just like talk, talk to us like is there something that comes to mind about maybe overthinking and what does that look like for you right now how you're trying doesn't mean you're perfect at it and doesn't yeah. mean you do it yeah. don't do it but yeah so I am currently working on a website that is okay going painfully slow because I am <laughs> overthinking it and I want to have it just perfect but there are opportunities like this that come up that have <laughs> You have people in your life that love you and yes. that are trying to spur you on yes. and to make you keep going. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> to act. And honestly, I think it's the people that you surround yourself with. Yeah, that's good. Plus, it's also really believing God's truth for what it is. That's and good. not getting lost in the lies. And mm -hmm. to be honest, like there are days where I get lost in the lies. Yeah. Because I can hear those so much yeah. louder than the truth of what God's Word says. Yeah. So that, you know, with my personality and, and whatnot, that's a personal battle that I have to, like, punch through. And yes. There are days that yeah. it's good. And, and that's kind of part of why I really put myself out there with a lot of sketching. Because it's like, there's something that has to happen. Yeah. And that's. There's a start and a finish. And yes. whatever it is, right. it is. Right. And so God's been able to do some incredible things with it. Absolutely. So, you know, you don't know until right. you take those steps. Right. You know, there's so many, so many examples in the Bible. Yes. You know, where the Israelites, they had to step into the water for the water to part. Yes. You know? That's good and because so, they didn't know. They were just no. seeing this massive water in front of them going, we should go back. It would be better to be mm -hmm. slaves and go back to what we had known mm -hmm. than to walk into the unknown. Yeah. And sometimes I think it's so easy to get into that comfortable state. Yes. Because yeah. you know, you, you seem like you have control. Yes. But I, do we really? <laughs> <laughs> control seems to be a re reoccurring issue in my life. I don't know about you, Megan, but I sometimes yeah. struggle with <laughs> wanting yeah. to have control and yeah. what does it look like to yeah. have to stick your foot actually in the water first before you see yeah. it part or see. Yeah. You said something just a minute ago that I feel like goes with this. You're talking about sometimes God tells us to, you, you know you're supposed to do something or feeling like it's the right mm -hmm. thing, but then there are sometimes still obstacles. Mm -hmm. What would you tell somebody when it's like, hey, I know that I should be doing this live sketching, or I know I should start cooking meals for some, or what, what, fill it in with X, Y, and Z. Yeah. But then there's a hurdle, like you, you go to the store and the yeast is out because everybody's yeah. baking right now and you can't find a thing, or everybody, you're like, yeah. what do you do? And those are yeah. small, really small yeah, details. But, but those are tiny little details that add up. That yeah. Can totally, you know, distract or discourage or whatnot. Yeah. And, 
I'm, I'll be honest in knowing that there are days where I'm like, oh, that's my sign. I'm not supposed to be yeah. doing this. <laughs> Going back. <laughs> and then I end up the next day or another conversation or yeah. the word is just like, okay. Yes. Nope. That is of the enemy. And yes. it is something that is just working on building your character and yeah. building that perseverance. Yeah. You know, if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. Right. Well, don't you think sometimes we, we th- or at least for me, I think, or, or you have this idea that if, if I feel like God is leading me into something, then it is all going to be easy. Like it should just be, yeah. and it's like, hey, sometimes that's not the case because there is just life yeah. and there's obstacles in life and things happen. Mm-hmm. And just because like you have to, I keep telling myself, you have to remember what you know to be true yeah. and you got to keep coming back to those promises mm-hmm. and remember what God told you and what he said. And it's not about the 50 steps between here and there. Mm-hmm. It is about those steps. Those are mm-hmm. important and they're part of the journey, mm-hmm. but it's the trust and the faith along mm-hmm. the way. Well, and too, it's like, I was taking a moment to look back at yes. where you've been yeah. because there are so many moments that God has shown up in ways that I couldn't have even dreamt. Yeah. You know, and when looking at those moments, he's not going to leave us hanging in this space or wherever you are. And so sometimes, I mean, you even see it in scripture that there are places that they would go back to because the presence of God was there. Yes. And so in the midst of that, he's not going to leave you hanging. But I do believe that there is purpose in the waiting. Absolutely. So there's questions that you can ask yourself. Okay, Lord, what am I supposed to be learning right now? Yeah. Or I trust, I choose to trust you yes. that there is something that is just not yet. Yes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not quite there. Yeah. And so I could give you so many examples <laughs> right now. Like, yeah, do you have you one know, that comes to mind uh, of like a wait, like a time when waiting and like, okay, okay. Yeah. So just even our family situation. Yeah. Um, we, uh, a year ago, so it's been about a year and a half, we um, ended up getting some property up in Silas, okay. Missouri. Okay, wait, you got to tell so, people where Silas is that they don't know. Because you're telling me. just north of Troy. Okay. So it's about mm, 40 minutes from okay. here. Okay. So it's not too far. But um, we were just really praying on figuring out what to do with this land. Yeah. And so do we sell it? Do we sit on it? Do we build on it? Yeah. Well, our kids love to be outside, and it's just um, we enjoy as a family to be outside. Yeah. And so um, property is not getting any cheaper, that's <laughs> nope, for sure. Nope. So we decided as a family that we're going to step out, <laughs> we're going to sell our house. Okay. And we are going to um, build a <laughs> shop, move into the shop. And okay. build our house out on the property. This is, so. when Megan told me this just a few minutes ago, I was like, I feel like you need to start a YouTube channel <laughs> because I feel like you could be one of those families that bl- vlog their life because, so you're going to move your family of six yep. into and a, a, dog. Sh- and a dog, <laughs> and a dog mm-hmm. to a shop. And you mean by shop like a, just tell it's people. Like a barn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not super small, but it's not going yeah. to be like, we'll have two bedrooms <laughs> in there. <laughs> And a bathroom, a little kitchen. Yes. I mean, it'll be, yeah. it'll be small living. Yes. But um, honestly, our kids are at the age that if we're yeah. going to do something crazy like this and the Lord is leading and, you know, we had them a part of the whole decision making too of like, That's okay, awesome. what do you think about this? Yeah. We toured the school that they would be going to. Okay. Into, and so they are so excited. I mean, of course, there's that back and forth of like, well, what about this? And what about right. like, you right. know, I think we're all going to feel that because we don't know really yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. So anyways, we decided to move forward. And okay. um, so we had our house on the market. We actually had an offer that okay. fell through. Okay. And so That's... now we're, it's off the market for the time being and we're trying to get our shop Okay. In working conditions so that we can kind of move in there. It's just all the timing. It's like hurdle upon hurdle. Yes. There's lots of rock out there. And so that's kind of painfully slow to be able to punch through, to be able to do. So patience. Yes. Is definitely (laughs) something something needed right now. (laughs) Being stretched. Yes. For sure. Yeah. But um, there's just been so many details that have affirmed that we need to be there. Yeah. So that's where it's like, okay, God, I trust that you have purpose in this. Yep. 
And Trust so in the process. We are going to keep going. Yes. Even when we don't understand. Yeah. And trusting that he has something that what our timeline thought was going to look like. Right. Is going to be better than what we could have anticipated. Right. That's good. So. so to someone listening right now that's in the midst of waiting mm-hmm. and feels like the timeline just is not e- like maybe there's not even an end in like they can't even yeah. figure out what would be then. What would you what encouragement would you give or would you say? So I think the time in the word yeah, and prayer is huge. Okay, that's because good. Because there's so much that is fighting for our thoughts and our attention that can mm-hmm. easily distract us. Absolutely. And honestly could be the backing or could support why you shouldn't be patient. Yeah. If that makes that sense. That does make sense. And so really just digging into the word and spending time in prayer to get that confirmation Mm -hmm. and to almost get that peace that only he can give yes and really go to the one who is really affirming this or if it's a space that you need to reevaluate right right there's times of that too absolutely so you know sometimes those in between moments and that's what i like to call them it's good in between is so hard yeah because it's in between knowing that there's something around the corner Mm -hmm. but you don't know how long and you know that you've been called in this. It's almost like being pregnant. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes. Like, you know, <laughs> it's for the men listening, fun. I'm sorry, you might not know what that is like, but that's okay. <laughs> it's not always fun, and you don't always know when the end day is. Right, right. But it's worth it. It, it absolutely. There's beauty on the other side of it. So, yeah. you know, the, it's, it's hard, but I think it's okay to be hard. Right. And so I think it's maybe the challenge of trying to find the beauty in the heart and not yeah. trying to hurry up to get to the other side. That's good. So one of our taglines around here on the Now That's Something Good podcast is, um, and just a life thing that um, my husband and I just kind of live by, is that there is so much extraordinary and what we would say is just the everyday ordinary. Mm-hmm. That they're really, like, those are the moments and that's where you're growing. That's where you're learning. And you don't even know because sometimes in it you're just frustrated mm-hmm. sometimes or you're just like, God, what's going on? Or mm-hmm. I just want to get to wherever this is or in that waiting, yeah. in the process, in the middle, in the in-between, mm-hmm. as you said. Mm-hmm. But there is so much good that's happening in the midst of that too. Mm-hmm. It, even the really hard things, they're mm-hmm. still helping become who you're going to be to be in the next season, to be yeah. who you need to be for that. And I think that that's where God's worked on me a lot, too, in the sense that, you know, I could list a whole bunch of flaws or weaknesses or yeah. things that I need to work yeah. on personally. But that doesn't mean that God can't use me now. That's like, good. There are things where I feel like yeah, I need to be here or I need to get through this. Yes. But there can be beauty and there can yes. be a mess all in the same place yeah and so sometimes i'm learning to be able to see the beauty still yet and to yeah. celebrate the small wins yeah or to, it could even be as small as like the beautiful sunsets that have been happening lately the that, skies have yeah. been absolutely stunning yes you know yes. it could be um just a good walk around the block right I mean, it, right it doesn't to be complicated these huge things it could be yeah. a game night that's uh, spontaneous with the family right like, right getting yeah. to have a conversation with a good friend like yeah. you never know i mean yeah. like yeah so much can happen mm-hmm. okay i got have you go back to this construction thing because <laughs> i this is i'm so blown away. so tell i mean your husband is building the house though that you're gonna right mm-hmm. like because you said yeah. he's in construction yeah. brad's in construction so you yeah. He's building the house. So where did the plans for this house come from? Because So we actually sat down with a good friend of ours that okay. um, helped us design this building. So okay. This, or this home. And so uh, we we designed it. And okay. So it'll be the first house plans for Newberry Contracting. And okay. So, um, so yeah, so we are we're excited. That I think that is super exciting. I know there it's going to be a lot, but actually, I think so much amazing things going to happen. Even when you're having to live in the yeah. shop, like who knows? I mean, the adventures, and honestly, there's already been like it's been such a sweet thing to be able to go out there. That we have a creek that goes through our um, property. And okay, so the kids have spent hours already out there, just going and in, in the springtime we saw little tadpoles we've oh, wow. seen you yeah. know one of my daughters just loves every time we're there she always ends up with a wildflower bouquet Aww. you know so each yeah. of our personalities are coming out in different ways that it's That's just cool. something special that 
you know, we're creating memories. And Absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of unknown with it, but right. we're right. going to do it together. So. I think that's amazing. What, so what is the, speaking of timeline, if, ever, if there's not any major hurdles, <laughs> what would be the timeline on the house being complete? Do you know, just kind of. Well, that I don't even know now. Like, ideally, <laughs> when all of this started, we would have already been out there. Yeah. Um, so honestly, we're just taking it a day at a time. Because okay. with COVID, the yes. supplies have been on back order in so okay. many different ways. It's affected cost. It's yeah. affected all kinds of things. So yes. it's just we're taking it a day at a time. Yeah. So our first goal is just to get out in the shop to get settled in and then we'll start moving forward. So okay. I would imagine it would probably be maybe spring okay. the that we get into the house. Yeah. So that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned COVID corona time. So <laughs> obviously we're all this has been a shared experience that everybody in the world has had. So I want to ask you a second. So I think so many people, there's been some really good, some really hard. And I think most people would be able to say, yeah, there's been a lot of hard. No one saw this coming. No one would have maybe necessarily picked that this would be the way 2020 would be going. But there could also be some beauty amidst all that. So like what would be something that you would say has been a really a blessing or something beautiful or unexpected that has come yeah. Out of quarantine yeah. and the pandemic for, for your family, for you and your family. Yeah, so it's a little bit unique because a lot of people were quarantined and it totally rearranged their everyday routine. Yeah, yeah. And so, of course, my routine changed just because the kids were yes. home. Yep. And so that and trying to figure out the virtual thing yes. and we're all in this together. So that yes. was an adventure in itself. But we survived, so that, that yes. was good. That's good. Um, but Brad was actually considered an essential. And so just trying okay. to run a business within what that looks like too was really interesting Um, okay so we did the best that we could and he did all of his work outside and just trying to make sure that he was keeping his customer you know his homeowner safe and trying to just make wise decisions and whatnot so yeah um it looked a little bit different for us yeah with whatnot but um Honestly, I think the four kiddos together it's been a gift to watch okay um just they're making memories. Yeah. I mean, they're they're sick of each other. They're tired of each other. But yeah. they can have the best of the time the next minute. So right. I think that just being able to watch them has been a blessing. Um, it's been a blessing to be able to go out in nature to really just soak that in. Yeah. And just simplify. Right. Really. Right. You know, um, it really is like, okay, what do you really need? It has, I think, forced to think that through, mm-hmm. right? What do you really need? What's kind of, I feel like I've heard a lot of people say being able to have time to come back and think, okay, what's, what's most important? What's most important when our schedule has totally changed. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, I mean, some people didn't have the luxury of, I mean, it was a little different for everybody yeah, depending right, on their job and right. how all of that looked, right. but at least like, I mean, soccer and sports. So if you're right. kids or if you're whatever environment having, and so there's some hard with that, of mm-hmm. course, cause mm-hmm. love those things, mm-hmm. but also some time to kind of reevaluate wait to go yeah. okay what do we want to in this new season yeah. and as we kind of come through this what do we want to add back in and yeah, what do we want to keep there is so much with the environment around us that it's just go 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 yeah yeah and to keep that high pace like you can only do it for so long and it catches up yeah. so just kind of evaluating okay what really is important right you know right. and there are seasons inevitably that are going to be go 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 yes but you know, how can you be um, the manager of the calendar versus the calendar being the manager of you? Absolutely. That's good. So I feel like you had an art piece, this came to my mind, that was kind of quarantine inspired that I love. <laughs> so can you talk about one of the Which art? One? Well, that's true. That's true. Uh, Particularly maybe the one about the toilet paper. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was fitting just to watch that and know yes. um, and what that looks like. But yeah, there was just a lot of time, you know, it was over Easter and it was just a lot of contemplating and, and various things, but you know, God is the ultimate provider. Yes. And so I think fear is just something that can be so easily entangled mm-hmm. in and overwhelming at times. Absolutely. And so with that, it's just a matter of going back to the truth that is not wavering. And so, That's good. um, you know, social media can be a blessing, but it can also be so difficult and yes. be yeah. heavy. Yes. Yes. Too. Yeah. 
And so the toilet pa- to, to tell people you had a what did you write? Do you remember? remember what it is. We'll have to okay. if you don't care, maybe we can yes. link, link that yes. picture for sure people to see because it was great. And I still think I need to get a print to go in my <laughs> downstairs bathroom because it was just like and a I reminder. Think, there is definitely going to be things that we take away from twenty twenty that we yes. can't even imagine. Like our normal conversation now, words that are going to reference twenty twenty. And yeah. so sometimes you just have to have fun. Yes, you do. Because, like you said, we get to choose. We might not be able to choose our circumstances. None of us could have chosen this. We couldn't choose to get ourselves out of it. But we do get to choose our response to it and what our perspective is on it. And I'm a firm believer that those kind of things that we tell ourselves really does help the trajectory we're doing. It doesn't make it necessarily better all the time. But at least it helps going, hey, I I just told a a daughter today, hey, if you're going to be grumpy... (laughs) And think this is not going to be fun. You're absolutely going to have a horrible time, and it's not going to be fun. But if you open yourself up to who knows, who knows what can happen, oh, what new adventures. My house <laughs> with the is that a conversation? conversation? You're like, yeah, it's hard, and I need to have. I mean, let's be honest. I need to tell myself that sometimes, right? You wake oh, up and sure. you're like, I don't want to do that, and right. I feel grumpy, and I feel like this is all horrible. Yeah. And then be like, hey, you know what? Okay, let's choose to see. Yeah the good even when it's really hard and that can be really sometimes that's really hard to do because sometimes there's days where it's like oh okay (laughs) it doesn't seem like anything is going right or my way but we can still rest back on hey god is who he says he is he's faithful and and we're going to keep trusting him and still see the beauty in the everyday for sure I love it. Okay, so toilet paper art. So you, Megan, though, with a lot of your art, you've been getting a chance to do some collaborations. Do you want to talk about a couple of these projects? Because I think they're really cool. <laughs> like, And I just learned about one today, one I knew yeah. of and new one. So yeah. you start yeah. with whatever one you want to talk about. Um, well, honestly, like I, with the Fearless Connection, it yeah. happened just a little over a year ago. Um, and just as a volunteer that ended up coming into like the live sketching. And so then that kind of built on whatnot. So for really last September, for the months that I could come to the event, while the speaker spoke, I would live sketch. And so that made a collection of various, um, art pieces. And so Christy with um, Fearless, yeah. really, she came to me and approached me of like, hey, what would you think if we could pair 30 of those illustrations mm. with some teachings and devotions? Yeah. So um, over lots of prayer and just time and yeah. um, effort in making that come together. Yeah. So there's the Stand Fearless devotional that's coming out okay. in September. Love and it. So that's super exciting. So all of the proceeds go back to Fearless to that's be able cool. to continue with um, what they're doing with the ministry. And yeah. the ministry is so cool. Yeah. And for those of you that don't know, we'll reference in the show notes, but Fearless Women is a ministry that helps just really talk and bring light to um, fear and anxiety and how we can overcome that with God's word. Mm -hmm. And so this is a really cool project because the art is beautiful. I've only Mm -hmm. seen a few of the pictures. Well, I probably have seen more than I think. I don't even know exactly which ones are in there, Mm -hmm. but it's amazing. And then, yeah, they've 